Michael Schur with TYT had a chance to dissect some talking points being displayed by MAGA as he came across a black pastor who supports Trump, which is probably the most twisted reality you could get, a religious person of color supporting a racist man who's been liable for sexual assault. Sounds like some kind of a gimmick, but as always, these bits give us a good perspective on Trump supporters and an avenue to push back on the points that they resonate with the most, which usually end up proving to be false or overly exaggerated. So let's see what this pastor specifically had to say. That Republican Party is different than the one that they left, right? Yeah. That's why MAGA Black, we're talking about the policies that make sense, the policies that brought us together. Uh, it just so happened it was under that brash New Yorker, some guy named Trump, I, you know, heard of him? <laughs> but but it was really what worked. Where's a white shirt and a red tie, if I'm not mistaken? Oh my God, yeah. but it's what worked. Uh, cutting taxes, lowering uh, the unemployment, raising employment. I love that he names the same achievement twice because he definitely couldn't think of a third because spoiler alert, there isn't a third. There's not even two. He lied about one of them. We've covered too many times Trump's minuscule effect on jobs in the labor market, how his tax cuts disproportionately help the rich, but it doesn't stop him from trying to sell those to the middle class, especially coming into his next term. He had a speech just the other day in Pennsylvania where he told truckers, of whom average around $40,000 a year, that he will be repealing and doing away with the estate tax. And he said it as if it was gonna be a massive benefit to them, even though the estate tax only applies to the wealthiest members of society, those who are passing over or in the tens of millions of dollars to their offspring doesn't really sound like truckers are your demographic. In the meantime, though, these are the subtle plays that he's pitching to get them to agree with it when it's only going to hurt them because the estate tax actually goes towards things like Obamacare, national defense, essential programs. And yeah, let's let's cut this so rich kids can get born into even more wealth, though. Why then are so many of our modern black leaders, deceased and living, why were they more associated with the Democratic Party? I'm not talking about in the 60s. I'm not talking about in the 70s or the 80s. I'm talking about now. I'm talking about John Lewis. I'm talking about Andrew Young and Julian Bond. I'm talking about Don McEachin, who we just talked about. Maybe Adam Clayton Powell takes us a little farther back, but you look at Benjamin Hooks. You, you know all the people I'm talking about. Why are they so associated with the Democratic Party? Why do they not see that that's where the Democratic Party is? Why the Democratic modern Democratic Party gave us first African-American president. We have the first African-American female vice president. Seems like that would be reason to celebrate. Well, it goes back to family again. What was the family really all about? The family was about hard work, go to school, pay your bills, stay out of trouble. The real reason is the party switched values after the civil rights movement where Southern Republicans did not agree with it. I love the Uno reverse card that right-wingers always try to pull when they're saying the Democrats are the ones who are actually racist when the logic really doesn't hold up one bit. They'll say the Democrats are racist and the fact that they're giving handouts to the black community proves that they think the black community is less capable and Republicans are less racist because they think that everyone should be equal and blah, blah, blah. And let me just quickly tell you where this falls short. Democrats think there are systemic barriers that need addressed, and the measures they put in place are to address those, while Republicans think black people just do more crime because they're black, perform worse in school because they're black, and make less money because they're black and lazy, and black people are lazy. The Neither party does enough for the black community. Let's, let's keep it uh, on the face value there. But let me tell you which one of these two sounds more racist. I've never met a racist person who put me down and was like, man, you're really dumb because you're black. Here's $1,000 go make it better. They usually say it's the fault of the black community and the solution? Pull yourself up by the bootstraps, brother. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support, because the only way we become a society is together.